Hi Taurus, here's a general look at your solar chart for July 2011. Well, looks like a very busy, chatty time um, ahead. Uh, uh, you'll be feeling uh, stretched sometimes uh, as you are trying to figure things out. Um, maybe um, there's going to be some new influences. Uh, um, you know, you'll be um, crossing paths with. Um, new people, but also new influences related to your family, maybe to your home base, uh, or maybe your tribal sort of connections. You're going to have lots on your mind, but I think you're going to feel a little, a little bit more emotionally sensitive as well. Feelings just nearer the surface. You'll be multitasking, probably right, you know, at home, or if you're not at home, then the base of operations, wherever you are. A lot going on there. Uh, maybe at times feeling a bit scattered as well. You may feel as though it's necessary to understand certain things properly, listen well, communicate well, uh, but also there's going to be, I think, an awful lot that you hear and that's going on around you that you really enjoy, that will put a smile on your face, you know. Um, and also from the third, if you want to negotiate or if you want to, you know, uh, lay a few to rest or if there is a sort of buying selling situation maybe you can just find the right words it will be easier then because in your communication sector you're going to have Venus which allows you your your you know the connection be between brain uh, the, 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 the 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 engagement of brain and mouth <laughs> kind of flows better um, and um, you'll be hearing things that you like to hear, but also you probably will be able to pick just quite naturally, and there's going to be more flow there. And also for you uh, creative Taurians, um, creative self-expression is going to flow more easily uh, through whichever medium of expression um, you are working through. And uh, people around you will be, I think you'll be interested in what they've got to say, uh, um, maybe advice, uh, maybe help, um, and you're just going to find it all quite stimulating and interesting. But there's likely to be more comings and goings as well, so more travel could be on the agenda for you also. Now, stuff, your material stuff, objects, money, property, your space, how you want it to be, um, that could be, uh, you know, very much at the forefront of your mind, and you physically may be making effort to get things organised in the way that you want things to be, and that could be, um, you know, a new setup in some way, um, minor, major, um, and you have to take this decisive and realistic approach and be ready to put physical effort into that. Uh, because maybe you're just sorting out a space, maybe you're getting things done inside, outside, but also you want to perhaps d take steps to um, help fill the piggy bank uh, or gather more towards yourself in the way of resources, uh, nourishing resources, uh, finding out more about those, uh, maybe you know, doing more gardening or doing gardening. Uh, learning how you can sort of, you know, feed yourself from a window box or whatever it is. This can be a successful time if you put physical effort in practical ways um, into all that basic stuff uh, and capitalize upon whatever it is, you know, natural resources, material objects, property, skills, inborn talents. Now, the slower moving planets, um, they're in these longer cycles from uh, Jupiter outwards, um, and I've talked about these before, but just to recap, Jupiter is has just gone into your sign, actually. It will be there for 12 months, and that's very good news. Um, that will usher in a cycle of expansion. You'll be learning an awful lot through doing over this next 12 months. Um, if this is a very much a key feature of Jupiter. This is the kind of learning that we don't forget. Um, but you are likely to um, be feeling, um, getting the eagle eye view, um, getting broader horizons in your life um, over this 12-month cycle of Jupiter. And also, many of you are likely to travel more uh, or have more contacts with those who are at a distance from you or 
with those who have an expertise or a knowledge um, about something that's new to you, that you're learning from them. Um, you'll also have more contact uh, with people uh, who come from a very different cultural background, maybe. So very much over this uh, period here, it's going to be time to spread your wings, Taurus, and get the eagle-eye view and uh, learn an awful lot through actual experience. And you early Taurians are going to be feeling that most over the month of July. Saturn, another slow-moving planet in a long cycle, continues its transit of Libra until late 2012, which means you're, that you're in this period, this extended period of having to work harder related to health, diet, exercise, you know, fitness, um, in some cases taking more of an interest in the foodstuffs you use to nourish your body, um, also cleansing regimes. Um, and other therapeutic practices and maybe that's not just for you maybe that's on behalf of somebody else that you know you want to give a good example to or because of your state of health it's going to help them or maybe it is about them only so you'll have to adopt this step-by-step -step, uh, persevering attitude um, and make use of that famous Tory determination to get things how you want them but you don't have to be more self-disciplined about these sorts of things and more consistent about diet and exercise um, to really make the most of this Saturn vibration, Saturn the great builder of the zodiac um, and also as I said earlier looking at gardening, organic foods, anything like that, anything in the green area like you know renewable energy sources um, and developing a knowledge base there or skills um, and so on. And the current position of Saturn um, is a time for you of preparation for the next part of its cycle, which is um, coming in in late 2012. So this part of the, is a stitch in time, saves nine part of the cycle, and it just means more self-responsibility, you know, self-discipline. Uh, that's the name of the game with your daily routines and also providing a service, making yourself available to others to provide a service to them, whether that's in your personal life or your um, more professional sort of life. And this Jupiter transit um, is about learning through doing. So actually when Saturn is, um, this is a very good place for you to be training or just, as I say, learning through doing um, and getting uh, very skilled up, you know, um, in certain areas. Um, developing your skill set um, and your knowledge base and further down the line, you'll be glad you did keep plugging away when you do see the fruits of your efforts. Yes, at times you're going to get fed up, at times workmates or bosses or health providers or somebody who's relying on you maybe, uh, you just may feel a bit annoyed. <laughs> but if your health or someone else's health is out of whack, or not out of whack, but you know, isn't optimum health, um, then uh, you will have the chance to improve things slowly over this period. Another slow-moving planet, Uranus, for several years will be working from behind the scenes, helping you to tie up loose ends from the past, um, and it'll be, it, it's a very good time for you to be getting into some inner work, um, maybe doing some you know, psych, psychoanalytical stuff or um, squaring up to anything counterproductive in your regular emotional responses or general behavior which you know always sends you down the same old hole in the road. So, you know, Uranus is very, very well placed to help you with that if you tap into that energy. Um, also, uh, another way it can work is you could be working innovatively or altruistically or in a humanitarian sort of a way for those less fortunate or for a good cause. Um, it, some kind of good cause, a sort of worthy project. It could also mean sudden flashes of insight into other dimensions, Taurus. <laughs> now, Neptune has 
temporarily vacated your career area where it's been for oh so many years, over a decade. Um, and now in this short space that it's out of there, it'll be out of there until August, August the 5th. Um, um, but then properly from February 2012 it goes out. Um, this means that you get this sort of island of clarity about your place, uh, in the world, how others are seeing you, it starts to come into focus more, you can get more into gear with life goals and ambitions, and you Taurians born in the first two to three days, or with the first two to three degrees of Taurus rising, will feel this influence mostly over this month. And for many years, Pluto, the last of the outer planets, Pluto will subtly facilitate this internal shifting of gears, um, maturing you, evolving you, um, deepening you, and uh, your outer approach will change as a consequence. This is this transit of Pluto is evolving your consciousness, and as old doors close, and they will new doors open and that's the way it ever was and always will be. Partly this could be related to those at a distance, travel, a foreign culture, higher education, communications um, and um, spirituality. And from the 23rd the focus is going to be on family, family relationships, a locality, that you're in or your tribal relationships and maybe centered around your private base, base of operations, you know, meeting and greeting a lot. Um, and that's going to be uh, going on into August. Well, that's it for July. If you know your rising sign, listen to that too. It'll throw another light on what I've said here. And I'll see you the next time.